In the butane lab, you will first have to complete the pre-lab questions. Calculate the molar mass of butane, C4H10, using your periodic table. You will compare your experimental value to this actual value later. Take the equation for molar mass below and rearrange it so that you are solving for moles. Take this newly rearranged equation and plug it into the ideal gas law. Rearrange this equation to solve for molar mass. Please pay attention to questions 5, 6, and 7. Find the partial pressure equation for gases. First, submerge your lighter in the water. Leave it there for about one minute. Then take the lighter out of the water and dry it off thoroughly. You need to be very careful to remove as much water as possible. Water is a dense material and will change the mass measurement. Take the mass of the butane lighter and write it on your lab sheet. Now we will submerge the graduated cylinder. Fill the cylinder completely full with water so it's overflowing, creating a bulge on the top. This will allow you to make the proper seal and keep any of the outside air from entering the cylinder. Can you see how Mr. Warner has an air bubble in the cylinder? This is bad. We have to start over. Fill the cylinder till it's overflowing. Place your hand over the top. and carefully tilt the cylinder make sure no air enters the cylinder perfect now submerge the butane lighter underneath the mouth of the graduated cylinder depress the button and allow the escaping gas to enter the cylinder Allow at least three quarters of the graduated cylinder to fill with the butane gas. Then, in order to take a correct volume measurement, make sure the water level inside the cylinder is the same as the water level outside the cylinder. This lets us know that the pressure inside and the pressure outside the cylinder are equal. Write down your volume measurement. Now, take your butane lighter and dry it thoroughly just as you did before. Remember, get all the, as much water off the lighter as possible. Take the mass of your butane lighter. Now we need to take our temperature and pressure measurements. Be sure to read the Celsius side of the, temp of the temperature gauge. Also, use the barometer to find the centimeters of mercury. Remember, all of our calculations are in atmospheres, and so you may have to do a couple of conversions. Write down all data on your lab sheet. Next, take the temperature of the water. And find the partial pressure of the water in the back of the textbook. Write down all your data. Now you have all the data that is required to calculate 